hello friends welcome to am channel in this video i will show you how to add aws account in dyna trace for monitoring purpose and that we are achieving by using key based access method so to add aws account in our dyna trace we need to create one user in our AWS account and by adding that user we will use its secret access key to verify that connection from Dynatrace. So first of all I will go to AWS management console so from here I will open IAM service. So for creating that user, first we need to create one policy for Dynatrace. For that, I will click on policies. I will cl click on create policy. In here, I will select the JSON option and I have this policy which is used uh, for Dynatrace user. So this is predefined policy in Dynatrace documentation. I will provide this link in description. So I will copy this policy which is in JSON format. I will remove this first and paste that policy as it is. I will click on next tags. I will add one tag and I will add this value here as Dynatrace monitoring policy. I will click on Review. I will queue here name as Dynatrace monitoring policy. We don't give here spaces, so that's why I will give underscore and I will take the same description here without underscores. You can give any description here for your understanding. Now, here we have allowed 67 services from 314 services in the Dynatrace JSON policy. So after that, we have to click on create policy. So we have created the policy for Dynatrace user. Now we need to create one user. So click on users. Click on add users. Again, username should be Dynatrace. You can give any username. This is not allowed. So I will give here name as Dynatrace monitoring user. And we have to select access key, programmatic access for this user. Click on permissions. Now in permissions, we have to select that policy we have created in our previous step. So click on attach existing policies. Search for Dynatrace monitoring policy. Select that policy and click on next tags. You can give name or any use for this user. This is just for your understanding. 
and I will select it as Dynatrace monitoring user here. So click on next review and click on create user. So now make sure you download this CSV file or keep this access ID and secret ID, secret access key with you so that you, you can use this in Dynatrace settings. Now, after creating this user, what we have to do? Came in Dynatrace, search for settings, go to settings. In settings, we have option cloud and virtualization. Select AWS here. Now here we have to click on connect new instance. Okay, before doing this, make sure you will be charged for at least 0 0.01 dollar per thousand metrics requested from CloudWatch API. And this will be added in our bill in AWS account. So if you want, you can go to this page, which data units overview so that you can get more understanding about Davis data units. As of now, I'll click on connect new instance. Connection name. I will do any name here. And address AWS Cloud Integration. So I am doing here key-based authentication. So for that, I need that access key and so I will take this access key and I'll paste it here. And next I will copy this secret access key. And I will it here. Now keep AWS partition as default and resources to be monitored. Monitor all resources and click on connect. So this will take some time to verify our details. Now we have added our AWS cloud in Dynatrace for monitoring purpose. So after some or after a couple of minutes, Dynatrace will start monitoring our AWS cloud account and it will fetch uh, CloudWatch metrics and it will show us in Dynatrace monitoring console. So we can also add multiple AWS accounts here again using same way or also by role-based authentication method. So in this video, that's it. Thank you again. Please like and subscribe AM channel.